Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Pro Series European Open Qualifier. Again, Leisure taking uh, first map, overtime fashion, and that was their map choice on Cobble. So now we move into Cash. Isuba, this is their map choice. Um, interested to see what they have for their T-Pistol. Yeah, I took a look. And One player didn't actually, buy. Uh... Sorry to interrupt you, but why did RDO not buy anything? You know, you know. I'm already you upset. See, you see it I'm from triggered. time to time. You always wonder, is there a plan behind it? And the answer is always no. <laughs> you got right. it, you always forgot something. But yeah, I looked at the, the previous Leisure lineup just to get some clarity. It's it's an entirely new roster, so we can't take okay. anything from the old roster here on Cash. All right, just the name, and that's it. <laughs> that's, all right. I, I'm sure we've seen these other players at uh, at some point, though, because I swear that I've, uh, I've seen some of the names, oh, yeah. nonetheless. We'll see potentially side play, or more than likely, as we got Monty headed up towards middle puts a little bit of damage into remux and they'll try and split into the bomb site it flashes into a and uh, they don't utilize them as well as they could have light surprise they even got one in all the commotion and the retake they you made difficult by monty as he's inside a z that's step one for leisure they have to deal with this guy faker will do it so even numbers as the retake comes through three on three Two coming up from truck, one up highway. Faker looking to take the first engagement here as, again, Kid on Remux. Freddy taking some damage. Does fall inside of Squeaky, but traded by BenQ. And now he's working on the flank, but knifing inside of the smoke. Oh my here God. is Enki, and he can't find the player. Just sticking the full defuse is oh bloody no. Did he just get a full 10 second defuse inside of that smoke? 10 second ninja. He's rare, Chad. He's back. They Inside had a player the with a kit, and the 10 second, the, the, the player without the kit gets the full... Oh and my god. The guy who was knifing, he's he's not knifing a crouch angle. So right, and he's, he's just like... He's whiffing above his head, just like giving him a haircut pretty much. And the, oh, the whole time, he's just right oh, below him. Oh man. What you know, a round. I don't know if I, I hate to see that type of thing happen, or I just love it. I, uh, uh, it's a bit of both, right? <laughs> it's like, oh, <laughs> uh, wow. All right, well, Leisure going to be, uh, I imagine, chuckling about that as much as we are. Um, it's a good feeling. They took map, n map number one, and now they bring <laughs> Pistol back for themselves on Isuba's map choice. Isuba, you can see, got the bomb plant. Uh, they're probably a, a little bit tilted as well. They'll buy a little into this round, but I, I feel like the surprise force buy and really coming up with a strategic round at this point, not a not a great idea. I think saving for the AKs, great plan. Moving into the next round here. They're down a player at the moment. Light getting the first frag, but Isuba, I'd like to see you just group up and hit something, but to be fair, they do have two beagles, so those are more kind of pick weapons. That being said, Freddy goes down. And not a lot so far. They might be able to cross the bomb. Faker gets distracted and oh, but the re Remux Nate denies the plant, comes through, gets another frag and no kills for Isuba despite investing a tiny bit. Now the AKs will come out and you could presume that the AKs should be able to win this round considering there's still some SMGs out, the scout. But one of the ways you could deal with this if you're the CT side of leisure is by upgrading <laughs> that's that's one way and by masking the smgs in in some aggression oh, let's see what they do here looks like a mid heavy setup which never go wrong with that get that uh middle control early deny it to the t's if they're interested i can't believe light is playing that aggressively with the mp9 though like he's working he was on top of white box challenging the boost uh, when when they're moving on to a rifle round that being said we see a boost up speaking of from faker and this is uh, now, how patient is he? I love to see when teams take a fight and then Faker or then the boost player goes over instead of just a solo boost play, but we'll see how it pans out. Yeah, this is what it's going to boil down to is patience of Monty versus Faker. Monty will eventually fall off of the white truck and get himself boosted up, but oh, he's wow. still ready for Faker to come over the top. Monty's eyes were glued to that the whole time. Yeah, that was very impressive from the crosshair placement. Sometimes, again, you could see players get a little relaxed. You're like, okay, I watched it for so long. I'm going to go up and over. And just as you're jumping up, might lose a little focus. But Monty winning that fight. That's an important one. But with 45 seconds, there's still... MNL is pushing a main right now. He can't find it, though. 
Uh, Henke takes him out. So it will be a five on three, but they haven't gained a lot of control outside of just a little bit of middle. Leisure is still stuck with two SMGs, though. So this ump. So many targets in just a moment. Oh, man. Like, oh, they get cut down from middle, though. Yeah. This Remux does get a frag on the, the, the end of the take from Isuba. Now it's just Ladirox inside of the site. Gets one. RDO quite low, so like two and a half versus three here. All right, Light's going to drop down from Heaven, and he is able to take down Freddy, looking for the Bomb Planter as well. BenQ in the back of the bomb site. And it's now only Light. He does find him, and RDO on 13 hit points. You got to think Light might be able to make this work, as he can run and gun very well. RDO, though, playing an off angle. But Light just runs around the corner. RDO finds it. 2K on the round, and he will win it for Isuba. What a close one. Yeah, that was so close. Leisure really doing a nice job off of the deficit and with limited weaponry. They put Isuba at a quite a low point economically. This next round going to determine who jumps out to a lead early on after we get past the first few rounds. Lots of lots of P90s on this Leisure side. <laughs> Seen it here on Cash and on Cobble before. But Isuba, it's not like they have a, a big bank and you see that well, their lack of utility themselves but the ak sh should remain dominant maybe not against light and oh man he's pushing all the way out of the b main and there's, it, there's an ak watching it but he still wins the fight wow nice shot from ben q i really thought the op was going to take that yeah i thought so as well um nice work like you had stated from ben q and now working off that pick makes things quite a bit easier and Isuba, you see, they're not necessarily just going to run into B. They're going to wait for more aggression. It's not a bad idea at all. So, Remux finds Freddy, actually. Impressive stuff in middle from him. I didn't actually see that panning out, but Threw indeed it did work out. away, spam. Yeah, I, yeah. But credit to him. Yeah, he made it work. Trades off most of his HP, though. And he's the vent guy. The Dirox jumping up and down on the site at a crack angle. Interesting way to, to peek that. But he has to cause a distraction for Remux or vice versa. And Remux, again, can't take a single bullet. Doesn't get a chance to fire one himself. And inside of the bomb site, Vladirox is coming up massive, though. And he needs to buy time for his teammate to come through. That's three for Vladir. Just one more. And he, he, oh, he does bring him down. So, MNL on the quick flank. And I think he made enough noise, and the T knows where he's at. Yeah, I think so as well. Henke worried about Checkered. MNL off to the left. They take the fight. Henke wins it. And all that work from Vladir for not, unfortunately, as Isuba take the round. That was sick from Fl Vladir. The way that he played that with his Vents player, I don't think the Vents player got a heck of a lot done, but he flashes... A lot of players, when they're playing in that safe, like, default spot, they flash off to the right. He flashes kind of left towards headshot, and it blinded a ton of them as they were coming in. So he gets two off the get-go, and then uh, continues up fairly well. But can't get it done in the end in the 1v1. This is his teammate, that is. And now 2-2, two -two, save for leisure. Um, nice chance for Isuba. That economy oh. going. Nice oh, tank. And the fadeaway, but g and yeah. Faker at middle. What's going on for Isuba? And now there's a flank coming through. From Baker and the deer still alive. Finally falls, but I think he bought enough time for the flank to be effective. That was insane. Vladir kills one. He dinked one before. He found the kill as well. So, so effective off the get-go. Now a three on two. Freddy's going to play back checkered box. Now it leaves his teammate fairly alone. And yeah, Monty's going to go down. It's only Freddy. So two on one. Remux is already on the bomb. And Freddy does not have eyes on the sticking. This Remux now only three. Yeah, it doesn't make a difference. Light finds the frag nonetheless. So Fuse comes in. Leisure. Very little invested. And they take the round. And a lot of that, is, again, Wadir holding B. Like he doesn't die immediately for one. He, he dinks a player and then kills the next one that tries to just, like, straight up uh, take a duel with the AK. And can you blame him? The guy's got a USPS. You'd want to take that if you're the AK player. But then falls back to the site, eventually dies, but they make it work. Leisure. Looking impressive. But Dirox, I this guy at the B-bomb site. Incredible so far. Get the 3K. And then the dink. Fall back. Get a kill. Stay alive. Really nicely done. And if Isuba, they've gone towards the B-bomb set a few times now. And if that's part of their plan, 
or one of their main focuses on cash is that B bomb site. The B bomb site players on fire might want to just avoid him. It's this time they're setting up for an A main take. As well as Squeaky just got one flash in the hands of Ben Q. Freddy will find a D shot in the middle. That's Remux and Light. He gets a lot of damage poured into him, but he's still alive from the bomb site. 5 7 spraying away. He almost dealt with Light, but he survives. So close. And uh, at the start of the round, it was actually pretty funny. Immediately, as Isuba puts three players at uh, Squeaky, I think it was MNL just randomly uh, sprays Squeaky Door. And I think he hit maybe it was Monty for a little bit. But just the fact that he sprayed in between, like, three players as they're all huddled around that location, I think, kind of spooked Isubo for a moment. But anyhow, 4-2 to two here, as we will see Light. This AWP is off towards B. So where is Vladir then? He's towards B as well. You know, if I'm leisure, I don't think Isubo is hitting towards B this round. I don't know if go Light going for the pick towards B is, is their best option. See if that turns out to be true. They are aggressing deep into A main, however. MNL. So very active CT defense. Aggressive on both fronts. MNL. There's no trade there for Isuba as he instantly gets out. RDO looks like he boosted a player up mid. Uh, that mid player just wasn't available for the trade. Trying to get some damage done over mid. But Ooh. Baker takes the fight. And Monty just gets buckled. That was such a nice timing from Faker and that he, he kind of naded, took the fight, not really though, and then made it look like he was going to hold and not repeat. Then he does. Anyhow, Paul's trying to get back to Sandbags. Remox is down to Freddy though. It will be a two on four of Ladir. Get out Henki. Only Ben Q left in a, in a 1v4 situation. He does drop Remux. At least makes it more expensive. He wins this 1v1. Guarantees the bomb plant. So 1v2, definitely winnable. Yeah, that would be a big one, too. Fire comes through. Seven damage. Very minuscule, but the flank. That should be that. Yeah, light. And he's going to go ahead and go back and get his up. So nicely done by Leisure in the end. Just nice recovery. But at least the bomb plant comes through. So that gives a little bit over to Isuba. But three rounds, loss bonus, and a bomb plant. Unless they want to invest into Galil's and, like, minor utility. I think this is a save. Yeah, um, I think it might, maybe they'll do, like, Pistol Vest. That wouldn't surprise me. Maybe just Pistol and maybe, or even Minus Vest and a little bit of utility. Ben Q's picked up a bit. But yeah, they, they gotta keep a good chunk of money, obviously, for this next round. Monty actually buying to 1500 Well, it'll be four rounds worth loss bonus at the very least. As we'll see, off towards B early are quite a few, actually, all of the side player so Vladir getting another opportunity here to uh, show us what he's got as well as light I'm gonna try to run out oh you couldn't miss at that point he had so many targets Ooh. there's the second one and now the second player comes into effect Baker jumps out of the vents easy end of the round and yeah at the beginning of the round I don't know if you're watching light but he literally couldn't miss with how many T's were funneling out Right, just crosshair. It's like, well, <laughs> just just shoot. Quite literally, sometimes it's you get confused too many targets, but they're just all there. Yeah, that works out well. I actually didn't even recognize he was playing back checkered box in that situation. Uh, I, I thought he was Z, so I thought Lear was going to be the first contact. Not the case. As he came up big, and now six to two leisure, taking uh, quite a lead early here on Isuba's map choice. So that's uh, it's a little worrying as Vladir pushes through B, takes very little damage, gets himself a frag, and again, impressive performance over there. Yeah, leisure has been looking strong on the CT side. Yusuba just can't punish the aggression that's coming out. Leisure winning all the opening duels. We saw MNL previously pushing into A main, now Vladir, and they're not even done. They're still pushing out of B main. How far are they going to go? If they keep going, they're going to find out that nobody is watching it from Isuba. And maybe if the timing is right, they could get the flank on. Or they could just post the guy up in sunshine and fall back to an A-side stacks. And that looks to be their plan. And if Isuba fall back to B, well, Remux's position is really strong. Yeah, this is... Uh, if, if I was the way... Or if I was going to call the way this would go down, I would... Definitely have that player just stay there and again rotate and, and defend the other 
locations were. Otherwise, you could just get caught in, in kind of motion and Isuba. If they're just holding a certain spot of the map. Could not pan out for you, but we're going to see M&L take a duel here towards Z as he's got a crossfire working player towards Tree as well. He'll lose uh, one to RDO, but still a situation where, yeah, Remux found Henki. He's got the bomb in his uh, grasps here, and, well, he'll take another one. RDO all alone, and you can see how well that worked out. Just basically gathering that aggressive uh, position and then just hanging on to it, knowing how much you have and, and not pushing forward further. Trying to figure out why this is Isuba's map choice. So far on the T side, I, I, I have been unable to find any answers. So maybe their CT side is just impeccably strong or something like that. But if uh, if they thought that they'd be able to get a bunch of rounds on T side, I'm wondering why at this point. Maybe it's just Leisure's aggression that is throwing them off, like the volume of it and the effectiveness of it. The answer to, to stopping the aggression, well, just got to hit the shot at the beginning of the round. Like, going to push into A main. Checkers and Vents control for Leisure. This, this defense is just very active. Light now towards Fork. Remux playing Red Box. MNL takes the peak from Quad. Wins it versus Freddy as he was pushed up into lockers. Playing on top of that green box. And that's a frag that will go untraded. And you, again, you can't be seeing that. As Flash push into A main, they'll gather even more control. RDO goes down. And yeah, very disjointed look from the T side, unfortunately. Unfortunately, Henke gonna open up the door. MNL and Remux ready. I think they'll try to get up, peek it together or not. MNL gonna bait his teammate a little bit. Looks like he had a nade pulled. Definitely could have got the trade out of that, but it does even the numbers out a little bit as Isuba trying to make their way into the site. There's a gap below the smoke. Light makes use of it. There's a trade back, but now Bladir is on the scene. Monty gonna need four to clutch this one out in leisure. Gonna find the frag in the end. Yusuba, yeah, they got some frags out of it, but it's just more of the same. Leisure. The opening aggression is really crumbling Isuba. I mean, if if this is Isuba's style and they wanna spread out, get control of everything, and then go from there, like like a lot of defaults work. Well, you have to stop the pushes. And, and if you're wait, waiting patiently outside of both of the sites, th that's step number one to opening up. This buy was just so delayed. Like, Freddy was the last one. I was like, I guess I'll grab a deagle. Oh, we bought. <laughs> I'll put armor with it, I guess. <laughs> like, I I don't know what's going on here. I, I feel eight to two is not a point where saving is not an option. Um, if you're yeah. really tilted. It might not be an option <laughs> yeah. to save, <laughs> but that's not a good look from Isuba in my eyes. Uh, I feel like one more round of saving would have been worth it, but... Especially with this loss bonus, too, but more aggression. Here we go. We yeah, Remarks pushes through. Freddy goes down, and you can feel the rage at this point. No, I'm joking. But that is frustrating. Again, they're kind of getting picked apart, and Isuba is almost setting up for these pushes, but it's like the one position that they're maybe a little not focused on. They'll fall victim to, and it's like, well, we're, we know we need to watch for pushes, and that's exactly what we called before that frag came in. And we continue to know that we need to watch for pushes, but uh, where's the next one going to come? Right. Just that one little gap. And who would have expected a guy to just walk out mid? Right. Right? That's a scary position to push. I mean, if you walk into mid dry and there's anybody watching it, you're probably losing that fight because there's so many different angles. And then one again, one of the unexpected plays that makes it more effective. And Isuba. Yeah, they one round buy loss. Here. <laughs> okay, yeah, they're just going to buy again. But I suppose they can buy this round, so the last round buy makes a little bit more sense. But I guess I, I favor them getting a little more utility. Anyways, 9-2. to two. And can Isuba stop the push, or do they just stop trying to stop the push and just rush something? And the thing is with Leisure is they can just stop pushing as well at any point. <laughs> and just play, like, really passive. And then if you're Isuba, you're, you're wasting much of the round. But anyhow, Isuba, not going to... They're like, no, we're not holding for pushes. We're just going to push and rush. And they net themselves two frags immediately now. Three on four. And they'll push more. RDO finding Vladir, but traded off by Light. Two on three. Remux, uh, he's a little low. Maybe they can make this work as Light goes down. Light missed a critical one. He mollied Monty out of the forklift. 
but unfortunately he just misses the shot monty able to capitalize and yeah it's definitely one of the options when when you're just getting wrecked by pushes well just don't let them push you by just rushing at them and hoping for the best if you're getting wrecked like this it's it's probably your better option but now it's exhausted leisure probably going to be ready for rushes this time maybe they stop pushing there's there's more options for leisure than i think isuba at this point and Freddy taking so much damage early. Henke just pushes straight out, though. And he was alone with the bomb for the moment. Uh, Freddy's now out with him. That was very, very aggressive. Now two up on the boost as well. So heavy mid-presence as they put one in a main as well. But eventually we will see a couple frags go in the way of Leisure. MNL and Faker combining, but Lydia goes down inside of the vents. MNL still getting uh, peaky here as he wants to help out his teammate. And Sandbags, Faker, as long as he can trade off of those... And he will. Three for him. Ben Q last up 1v2. Excellent play from Faker from the sandbags. Might even get the final frag. As Ben Q looking to challenge Light towards Truck. But Light posted on the angle. Has all the time in the world as Ben Q is slow peeking it. So Isuba, they try to keep up that fast pace. The, the crazy play out mid. Runs out middle with the bomb alone. It's like a single player game move or something. Right. But Leisure, they play uh, Faker patiently at mid, and Isuba, if they want to continue this pace that's netted them their only round, and that last round they had a good chance, Leisure should be ready for this pace. And so, here we go. Single flash. Excuse me, for the B-bomb site. Light will pick up the first one. BenQ goes down. Gladir following it up, and well, they all fall except for, except for Freddy as he takes down. Lydier trying to find the quick scope. Not going to find it, though. Freddy picks up an op and is getting a little creative here as he'll find one in Checkered, but can't find the insane flick shot he was looking for. Yeah, that was a hard one. Probably ran out of mouse pad at that point. <laughs> so 11 for Leisure. And Isuba, that, that's got to be alarming. Because if, if, if you pick the map of cash on, on, on T side... You know, it, it is a map where you can be shut out, and you have to be ready for this sort of aggression that Leisure was applying. But they did a good job making it unpredictable. Isuba could just never get their bearings. Because of the, all the wrenches thrown in the strats by Leisure's aggression. But maybe if they can get four in pistol, they got a chance. Because we still have yet to see the CT side. So Henke is holding Squeaky up until the point where he just threw his smoke, and then he holds it again, and Light is there and kills him. I, like, I'm frustrated for him at this point, as MNL has the bomb smoked off. Freddy's just knifing inside of the smoke just in case someone decided to run into it. <laughs> and it's just not looking good. Not at all, Isuba. They get three. As an optimist, today... Today. <laughs> Today. Isuba, if they win pistol and then they win the first gun round, maybe establish an economy. Maybe. But they're going to need a, a leisure on, on the T side that uh, I mean, hopefully isn't all that prepared. Maybe Isuba can do some of the same aggression into the leisure end. But of course, it all starts by you know giving yourself a chance getting these opening rounds. Yeah, I think the major problem here for Isuba is that... Um generally not all the time but if you've got a really solid ct side especially in the way that we see the mixed aggression work from leisure it shows a pretty decent understanding of how the map works you gotta figure out that their t side's gonna know how to exploit uh any kind of play that gets thrown their direction especially if it comes to the, the crazy pushes so see if that uh turns out to be true as we see double kit that's always intriguing to me we'll see one on monty one to uh RDO, and they're both at the same bomb site. I don't know, man. They, the, the first, the first uh, pissed around, they had someone that just straight up didn't buy. So at least they're they're, they're all buying. Right. At least he bought something. <laughs> Henke towards A. Does have a teammate with him as Remux. He's throwing a fake, or it may result in an eventual take. We'll see how aggressive Remux wants to come out of Squeaky. The bomb's still hanging out towards the B side, so if Remux can grab a kill, a rotate might ensue from Isuba. But so far, nobody biting and actually thinking about rotating towards B. But mid control gained by Leisure. 
Gonna pop the vents in just a second and then begin their take onto the B bomb site. And this is gonna be an effective split. Here we go. Monty drops an interesting smoke. He actually smokes off C. Did he literally smoke off CT? He botched his smoke as they were running into the bomb site and just smoked off his team. Wow. Okay. So what Freddy gets one. Yeah. What a play. What a. Not only did they get very little on the B defense, they actually helped out. And on a round where nades are so important, they uh, they, they smoked off their own team. Anyhow. Right. That's like. <laughs> The sports equivalent of you know, like tackling your own teammate or, <laughs> or like knocking yourself out by falling something like that isuba really didn't give themselves a chance that round like am i am i am, a, am i a bad person for being extremely triggered for seeing a, a double kit set up in the same bomb site on pistol like that just well what what can that mean to us like there's not real much reason i mean, maybe if you're planning on pushing a player down squeaky or something it like splitting the only you never should have two kits together on the pistol round just because on pistol round nades are so sparse and they're so important so yeah probably just miscommunication and or tilt um again first time casting these guys so i'm sure of it and yeah it's a different story i'm sorry different bomb sites as well but the same bomb site with two kits anyhow i'm done on it anyhow monty taking out lydia does pick up a Mac 10. So maybe we can make something work in this round. We do have uh, Light and Faker heavily tagged up, as we'll see an aggressive push here from Light and uh -oh. me uh, biting off a little bit more than he could chew. This could be real bad, and he's going to go down. Isuba take this round. They are back in it, assuming they can have a shutout half. There's right. still a lot, a lot of work to do. MNL inside of the Checkers Remux inside of the bomb site if Yasuba can collapse together onto the site player or just one Deegum as RDO will do just that MNL gonna have to start letting this P90 rip but the bomb's not planted for him and he's gotta make his way past like four CTs just to try to defend the plant and what a throw what a throw MNL just waited and checkered for a player to come be made and peek him literally till the moment that player ran into checkered. <laughs> and as soon as he ran in, he he dove out of checkered and decided to run into the bomb site. Like, I, I thought at least it was like, okay, he's going to get this frag and then start maybe this one on an X. Uh, because he let his teammate die virtually inside of the bomb site holding checkered. Um, anyhow, I, I got to be careful with the, with the throw word too. <laughs> Everybody yeah. jumps to conclusions. Not an intentional throw, just an extremely risky play by Light. He won the eco frags. Right, he pushes tree and just like spots way too many players <laughs> and doesn't doesn't kill anybody. And he didn't even just peek it. He committed. Yeah, he was way out in the open. He flew out. But here we go. We're gonna see. Uh, it's like a smoke take on an A. RDO. Oh, the flashes are nice from Leisure, but they're not good enough. Faker with the drive by, and that leaves Ben. Q alone in the bomb site, and he's flashed as well. Faker making great uses of flashes, and then Light puts away Freddy with the D. So all headshots with these pistols and leisure. Strong play into A. Monty does arrive with the Mac 10, swaps it out, and Henke will get a kill as well. Still a lot of damage into Isuba, and this is a must win. And we will see Henke go down. It's only Monty spray and pray with the P90. Can't find Light the Deagle. Reign supreme, and wow, what a round from Leisure. As pretty plain and simple, to be fair. Um, just smokes out onto the bomb site, and I think Faker just flies out squeaky first and foremost, gets a headshot immediately, and they just kind of take it from there. So, Isuba, I thought maybe with that last round, or the round prior where they won it, maybe that could have been their platform to mount the comeback. Doesn't look like that's going to be the case. One more A play for Leisure. Here comes the main aggression. Isuba looking to get some revenge aggression in. But oh no, they're both barbecuing at the forklift. And RDO will fall to the fire. But the flank is fast from Henki. So maybe. And another player flanking. I don't know if Henki should wait though. A light finds Monty and... The call might just be flank, and maybe Henke gets spotted because of that, but now nah, it looks like he should get a... F what? Oh, my. Vladir.
just the dream killer right now. One-on-one -on -one MNL versus Monty. And Monty getting on the bomb immediately, but it's another 10-second. Oh, no, not again. Here. MNL's diving into it. And he will find this. That's the, how you knife somebody in a smoke, Isuba. Right. He's, uh, he's showing them how to do it. You aimed at waist level, not head level. But I'm sure I'm going back to that first round. It was I'm sure it was just utter panic. And he's just swinging in the smoke, not able to find him. I forgot that that's how this match began. He's swinging for ages. Yeah, I forgot that as well. Um, I think that was Henke. He, he like ran from quad into the smoke and then just ran face first in a red box. And I was surprised. Yeah, what a round. <laughs> it's fitting how that one. Uh, it's the same way that the match will likely end. Is that round much more important than this one? I guess they're fighting for the for the <laughs> the tie at this point. But in terms of chances. How big of a chance they had last round. Much more important, but as I say that, one frag for Isuba, and then a trade at middle, but the bomb set has been claimed by Leisure. But it's been revealed that there's a lot of players flanking. Yeah, so, trying to keep, again, the dream alive. Leisure looking to close 2-0. And it will be Faker onto RDO. Ben Q. Does find uh, Vladir, but now all alone, and he falls to Faker. So 16 to 4, and on Isuba's map choice. And I, I'm curious if is it that Leisure is just that much better of a cash team, or is it because Isuba was so close to taking Leisure's map choice and, and losing it in overtime that it just didn't work out? Yeah, I, I I don't know. You gotta you gotta wonder about like just the uh, they're. Probably demoralized after half number one of map number two, just being unable to hold the aggression the whole time. And then coming into that, they couldn't co uh, close on Cobble. So, yeah, I'm not too I'm not too sure which one of the, the two things it was, but maybe leisure. I mean, I was I was a big fan of the, the way they played their aggression on cash. Yeah, well. That's going to be the way it goes. Leisure moving forward 2-0. So congratulations to them. And that's going to be it for our European broadcast. So hope you guys enjoyed. We do have uh, some North American stuff coming up tonight. It's going to be at 10 p.m. EST. We got Sinister GG versus Third Equinox. Another best of three. So hopefully you guys can tune in for that. But otherwise, have a good afternoon. And we'll see you later.